Ball, unable to do so in that instance. He's eager on the ball, looking for Chesnik or Clark, I should say. It's played back. Awkward ball here for Tyson, but he chested it down. Some great experience in Tyson. Able to deal with that awkward ball. Here's Majak drawing the defender and throws it out to Eager. It's a bad ball. Hospital ball there by Eager to Kunaguya. But Paul and Melbourne do still come away with it. And they're attacking through the likes of Kiusis. And here's Ibrahim. Kiusis playing a 1 2 and unable to do so with Clark. Ibrahim had a marvellous game last week. It seemed like nobody could put a challenge in on him. He was able to play his stylish brand of football and create some wonderful opportunities for his side. And in these early stages, he is proving his worth down on this near side. Green Gully giving the ball away here. But a saving tackle here by Hall. Port Melbourne did look like they were on. Here's Clark on the ball. Looking for Chesnik. To Eager. And here's Malkahi. Beautiful turn on the ball and switch out to Kiusis. And Ibrahim. Looking for that nutmeg on Walker. Couple of triangle passes but unable to do unable to conjure up anything here for Green Gully and a ball's been passed out. Green Gully just seem like they haven't been able to get their feet on the ball. And Ibrahim very, very intelligent to draw that foul. And still retain pressure on this Green Gully defence who haven't had much respite in these opening stages of the match. It's going to be Ibrahim again to whip this ball in. It's a great ball. It's gone, flicked on and cleared out. For a corner kick here, beautiful ball whipped in by Ibrahim, and Green Gully unable to deal with it. <laughs> and it's gone out for a corner kick. Seems to be a flat ball on the field. And they're waiting for another one to come. Looks like it's going to be Clark. To whip this one in. It's a low cross and it's being cleared out for a throw in by Purcell. Green Gully last week went away to Dandenong City. And drew 2-2. Alex Salmon skied a penalty kick in the last moments of that match. Here's Chesnick on the ball. And Port Melbourne coming all the way back. Switching to the other side. Just trying to change up this direction of attack. Ball's been hit in. And Nicholas Calm has been pressured by Brody Taylor. He's Ibrahim. Walker, I should say. And Tyson with that switch ball, unable to find the target. Ball's gone straight out.
Here's Clark on the ball. Tries a back heel. But Karoma's belted the ball into his opponent. It's gone out for a throw in. Here's Chesnick on the ball. Chesnick takes on two. Gives it to Karoma. Karoma with a cross in. Looking for Brody. Here's Ibrahim on the ball. Ibrahim a couple of touches and a shot. It's been deflected. Another shot. It's been deflected again. And a save by Tyson. Scary times here for Green Gully. They will not want to be 2 0 down here in these opening stages. He's Purcell to Walker. Walker with nothing really on. Goes for it himself. And he's given the ball away to Ibrahim. But Ibrahim a little bit too aggressive in that challenge. And gives away the free kick. given away here and here's Jesnik on the ball Jesnik going for a run looks for that pass but it's cut out is Kunagui on the ball Ibrahim takes on one takes on two takes a couple touches with a shot looks like it's come off the hand of Purcell the technical area for Port Melbourne is shouting for a handball here's Karoma Whipping that ball in, looking for that back post. But Tyson, safe hands here. Here's Kalma. Seems as if Green Gully can't get that ball out of their defensive half. And whenever it does go forward with a long ball, it does seem to be cut out straight away and come straight back. Looking for a switch here. It's been cut out by Ibrahim. His Kiusis to Clark. To Ibrahim. Ibrahim looking for that through ball to Clark. Clark's got a bit of space. He's one-on-one -on -one with Purcell. We'll see what he can do. Clark with a cross in. It's been saved by Tyson. Comes out to Chesnick. Still in the box. Chesnick with some touches on that left foot. With a chance. It's deflected again. Green Gully. Some dangerous times here. Really walking the tightrope with this style. He's Purcell on the ball. And the Green Gully midfield just hasn't had any sort of stability with the ball at their feet. We haven't seen the likes of Breeze and Bernus on the ball. Nicholas Kalmar has been picking it up. But every time they go in, it's been cut out just like that time by Ibrahim. Bernus... A good ball to Brennan, but again given away. And the pressure of Port Melbourne is too hard for Green Gully to deal with. Something has to change for their team. They cannot withstand this pressure for most of the game. And Majak with some, some beautiful pass. But Degadur with a, a challenge here on Nicholas Kalmar. His Kiusis with that cross full ball and just sliced at it. it. Wasn't hit very well. Much to the discomfort of Ibrahim, who was implying that we did have time on the ball. His Hall. And Brunus on the ball. Bernus looking for that switch to Walker. Walker being pressured by Ibrahim. It's been a duel so far between these two. And Gringali played around. Here's Hall. 
looking for Brennan. But Port Melbourne Sharks resolute at the back. They're not allowing anything in whatsoever. He's Kunaguya. It's been complete dominance this early into the game. Green Gully haven't even had a sniff so far if you are just joining us. Port Melbourne Sharks are without their star number nine, Sam Ford, who is injured. Majak with some calm distribution to Malkahi. There's a couple of clumsy challenges here by both sides. And Green Gully have just gifted the ball away to Chesnick. One back here by Brennan, looking for Salmon, but unable to hit that number nine. And here's Kamal Ibrahim, fending off Walker to Clark with a beautiful Maradona turn. It's Degodoy playing it back to Majak. Bit of tussle here by Kunaguya on Breeze. His Salmon unable to withstand the pressure of Eager. And wins his team. Throw in on that far side. His Brennan gives up possession. Eager on the ball to Kunaguya. Kunagoya with some beautiful work. And he's done it twice in a row. The same trick. Fake pass. He's run straight through this Green Gully midfield. The maestro in midfield, Kunagoya. And Clark has taken a double. And lost his shorts in the process. <laughs> Nicholas Kalma with that infamous letting that ball run. But Bunis has given the ball away and foul away to Malkahi. There has been a lot of pressure by Port Melbourne. <laughs> Interesting to see how Stephen Downs will change up this squad. And looks like it's going to be Kyusis. It's a flat ball. Didn't go over the first man, which is vital if you want to deliver a well-angled cross. It's Karoma with that ball in. It's come straight back to him. A couple of shouts by the Port Melbourne faithful. The ball's hit the referee. Degadoy with that volley sliced out. It's been thrown in by Walker. Received it back. And Green Guard looking to reset from the back here by that crossfield switch ball. Beautiful ball here by Tyson. It's crossed in but cut out by Kiusis. And Malkahi steals the ball of his own player. And plays it straight back to Majak. And Majak with a, a ball out wide, but unable to find Armadou Karoma. Here's Breeze on the ball. Breeze with a beautiful turn. Bit of space here for Green Gully. It's 
Lampard to throw it in. Breeze trying to get that ball in, but unable to get a pass. Chesney who clears. And Green Gully pinning Port Melbourne Sharks back here for the first time this afternoon. Here's Bunas out to Lampard out wide. It looks like a ball. It's gone straight to the back post. It's a good ball. Comes out to Kamara. Kamara looking for the back post again. It's knocked out. Brennan with a miss kick and cleared out. Brody Taylor with the pressure, but it looks like it's coming straight back. And interesting one there by Brody Taylor who slid in, got a little touch on it. And Port Melbourne win the ball back. Here's Kalma with a beautiful ball out.
Looking for Kamara. Port Melbourne defence. A bit angry for the offside. Kamara with a couple inside outside. Beautiful ball. He's looking for. And it's cleared hey, out. Hey, hey commentator. We just lost signal for a couple of minutes. So if you can say, oh, we're back. We had a uh, technical issues. We're back again. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I've heard we've had some technical issues on the broadcast. We are sorry if there has been some cutout. If you have just joined us, Brennan has had a shot and cleared out by Kiusis. It's been hit in by Kalmar. Comes out to the back post. And cleared there by Eager. Interesting one there. Majak not looking like he had that under control. Couple of players that were in his way. He's Walker looking for Salmon with that diagonal ball. But Eager doing a great job in the central defensive position for Port Melbourne. If you have just joined us, it is 1 0 here at Green Gully Reserve to the Port Melbourne. Sharks, the goal scorer Brody Taylor. It's a deflected shot and then a tap in for Taylor. Punas with a fall on the ball. Comes out to Taylor, to Ibrahim, looking for Clark, but it's cut out. And here's Bunus on the ball, trying to play a walker. Comes to Brennan. Brennan with an ambitious ball to Salmon. It was an early cross. It's been cut out and Port Melbourne able to keep that ball and play some tiki taka football with their goalkeeper. A couple of one-twos with Eager. And Port Melbourne playing it around a little bit too much. And Degadoy with the right ambition, but unable to get his foot around that ball and play a direction and pass, which aided his teammates. He's played it out for a throw in. It's going to be a shot here and over the bar. Been frustrating for Alex Salmon, who's had an opportunity here. This will be his second at getting a goal. <laughs> Here's Majak playing a beautiful ball to Karoma. And down the wings, Green Gully just not, not able to deal with the left and right backs of Port Melbourne as they're playing out. Given away here by everyone, he's Burnus. He's Brand on the ball, looking for Sabin. He's Karoma. Oh, what a shot! Saved here by Majak, and he holds on to it. Kamara, I should say, with a shot there, and beautiful save by Majak. And now Port Melbourne doing something similar to what Green Gully were doing earlier in the match, giving that ball away in the defensive half. His breeze, chipping it to Salmon, Salmon with the chest down, but. Eager with the strength to fend off Salmon. And Brody Taylor is taken down by Jordan Hall. And it's going to be a yellow card to the Green Gully centre back. As Brody Taylor seemed like he was through in that instance.
is eager. Quite eager to play that ball in to Chesnick. We are approaching the 41st minute here. If you are just joining us, it is 1-0 to Port Melbourne Sharks. It was Brody Taylor to open the scoring here at Green Gully Reserve. He's eager to Taylor. And it's come out to Brennan. He plays it to Walker. Back to Brennan across this ball in. But unable to get on the other side of Degatoy. Who clears it out for a throw in and pretty much breaks the corner flag in half. <laughs> Wasn't broken in half, but definitely looked like it may have. Here's Kalma. Kalma with that ball in to Brennan, who goes to ground. The referee says nothing doing. And Port Melbourne players calling for a yellow card for diving on Brennan. Is Purcell to Hall. Green Gully with nothing really on, and Paul Melville doing a great job at making Green Gully go all the way back to their keeper. <laughs> His breeze. Looking for Lampard out wide. He's able to get it to him. But Lampard just a little bit too hot at his feet. Put too much juice on that pass. Here's Clark to Ibrahim. And Ibrahim's got a chance here. Ibrahim takes a shot. And a tame effort. As if it was passed straight into the hands of Tyson. Here's Breeze. With a good ball. Looking for Brennan. And Majak's come out. And he's taken one right in the stomach. The debutant. Majak has got a studs up challenge right into the stomach. As he headed that ball. Putting his body on the line. And Andy Brennan will go into the book for a yellow card. The player is more than welcome to enjoy this respite in proceedings. It's been quite intense in this first half. Majak is still on the floor. Maybe a couple of extra minutes added on to this first half as we're approaching the 45th minute. Good boy, looking for Chesnick, who we haven't seen as much of as we did last week. It's going to be two minutes of additional time here, Green Gully Reserve. He's Breeze. He's found Brennan. Brennan with a chance. He's played it to Salmon, and Salmon with a shot! Salmon has got a goal here, putting his team into the 
It's a draw. Equalising. Alex Salmon with a deflected shot. Has quelled Port Melbourne here right before the half. A stinging goal to put all their work into the bin. Alex Salmon, so dangerous. He's able to just get a little sniff, a little opportunity, and so devastating in front of goal. Port Melbourne can't be happy with that. They put in such a good performance, and it just takes Green Gully to come down the other end and get a half a chance and put the ball into the back of the net. Here's Malkahi. Looking for Brody Taylor. And Eager with the header down. Straight to Kalma. Surely cannot be long left here in his half. Salmon looked like he got stud tackled from behind, clutching at that ankle. Referees called a free kick here. If Green Gully do get one back here, would it be a turn of events? This place erupted when Alex Salmon equalised for his team and it's going to be Nicholas Kalma to whip that ball in it's a bit of pushing and shoving going on in the box the referee just holding it up it does look like Breeze is just bouncing off players A good ball in, and it's come off the hand of T-Boy Kamara, and it goes over the bar, and it's going to be half time here at Green Gully Reserve. A bit of afters between the players, and it's going to be Green Gully one, Port Melbourne one. Stay tuned for the second half. Well done. Uh, the the I know the players and I know the I messed up equalizing. Yeah, you win. Take the lead. Take the lead. Equalize. It's live. It's live. It's forgiven.
He was taking free kick, was trying to take a quick free kick. And the player was trying to retreat, then it should be played out. Last week. Yeah, so. Tarp, yeah, Tarp is a term. Could it, could it, it could be what's happened previously in the game. So if it's like if he's persistently trying to stop taking a But generally, no, if it's his first first offence, it would be better for referees to stop here soon and say, don't do it again. Tarp is a better for player manager. Yeah, it's a silly yellow card. Yeah, the ref's not. Yeah, good. Good. There's a silly yellow card in the reserves. So, have you taken the shirt off? Yeah. <laughs> and he told the referee, he told the referee in the tunnel that he was, that's what he was going to do. Take his shirt off to, to show his. Don't do that. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for this second half of NPL football here between Green Gully and Port Melbourne Sharks. My name is Adam Ortash. It is 1 1 going into this half. The goal scorers were Brody Taylor and Alex Salmon. This one has started quite aggressively with a head challenge between Andy Brennan and Chris Kiusis right at the restart. Both players having eyes on the ball, running straight into each other. Chris Kiusis. Looking like he's still down on the floor. Referee opting for a drop ball here. Degadoy, sportsman thing to do. Clearing it back to Green Gully. His hole. To Lampard. Lampard looking for Kamara. He's been taken down. Referee calls advantage. Here's Breeze. Good ball in. It's cleared out for Dega Doyle. It's going to come straight back through Kalma. It's Purcell. Walker. Bonus. And Brennan. It's cleared out. It's a beautiful day here. In Green Gully, as you guys can probably see, the sun's out, still a little bit chilly. The lights have come on here at Green Gully Reserve, as we know, as it gets a little bit later. It does get darker here. This ball's crossed in, and Alex Salmon again with a header. Veering wide, unable to steer that one in the direction of the goal. Green Gully starting much stronger than they did in the first half. I was told earlier in the day that we have some Hobart listeners, so shout out to, to those that are listening in Hobart. Here's Kunaguya trying to play out, and he's given the ball away and then takes down. T-Boy Karama Kamara I should say and how the tide has shifted Port Melbourne committing the same mistakes as Green Gully did in that first half Nicholas Kalmar standing over the top of this one It's going to be interesting with that sun because it is straight into the eyes of Majak, the Port Melbourne goalkeeper. Let's see how he deals with this by Nicholas Kalmar. 
and he struck the top of the wall and it's kept in here and then cleared by Degadoy. Here's Lampard. With that diagonal through ball, aerial through ball. Which goes straight to Majak. He's eager on the ball. To Majak. Majak with a beautiful time pass and some great football here by Port Melbourne looking for Chesnick. But Tyson clears. There's a couple of balls on that far side, but none on this side. The restart is held up. He's eager. It's Karoma. Karoma well timed. To Chesnick. Back to Eager. Port Melbourne not really going for that attacking option, but it's come through Kunagoya. Kunagoya out to Chesnick. Chesnick with a cross to the back post. Comes to Clark. Clark keeping it in to Ibrahim. Ibrahim with a shot, but it's headed out for a corner kick. I think Ibrahim was caught between two minds, unable to decide between a cross or a shot. Can't see shit. The sun is going directly into the camera, ladies and gentlemen. If you can't see, it's Chris Cusis with the cross in. And it's headed in by Michael Eager. Has put his side into the lead. Port Melbourne here with a cross. If you cannot see that from home, Michael Eager has headed the ball straight into the back of the net. And this Green Gully side seems stunned here at Green Gully Reserve. <laughs> what an opportunity taken by the captain. It's a captain's header. This game is full of surprises, ladies and gentlemen. Anything can happen. Anything is possible. And we saw against the run of play, Port Melbourne doing what Green Gully did to them. Scoring against the run of play. It's given a ball away. And it's Clark. Clark with an opportunity here. Clark cuts it back, looking for Chesnick, but it's cut out, and the chance has gone away. Breeze with a beautiful nutmeg on Malkahi. But a bit of afters between Ibrahim and Breeze. Both players, a bit of pushing and shoving. Nothing really in it, no real malice by the two. Just a bit of stern words. Referee doing a great job at controlling the situation. He's Hall. Hall looking for Lampard. Lampard trying to get around Karoma. Michael Ego with a beautiful little chip. Chesnick unable to keep that in. Quite an interesting choice of passing repertoire used by Michael Ego. This Kamara to Lampard and Breeze chests it down and then kicks out at Majak. A bit of pushing between Breeze 
and Michael Eager. And everyone seems to run over here. It's not good scenes. It's not what we want in football. And the referee has given a red card to Matthew Breeze, who's been sent off here in the 53rd minute. Majak is on the floor. It does look like he has copped a knock to the face here. Very hard to see. The referee has just sent off Matthew Breeze. The red, a straight red card here in the 54th minute. Matthew Breeze is walking past the technical area and then he jumps on the ground. It's going to be interesting. What happens between them? <laughs> Yellow card. It was a red card. Oh, right now? I didn't see. I was streaming again. If you have just joined us, there was a tussle where Matthew Breeze was taken off through a red card sent for an early shower. Green Gully players still calling for... Interesting to see how Green Gully react to this one being 2 1 down at home and now a man down with Kamara being offside in that instance. Here's Kamara on the ball against Koroma. Karama, Kamara on his left foot with a shot and cleared out by Eager, the goal scorer, and then he goes through Chesnik. And it wasn't a tasteful challenge here. The referee just trying to get a little bit of a grip on this match. Just trying to slow down. Both the t these teams are wanting to win and wanting to really stamp their authority in this match. He's eager, looking for Clark, and Clark not really looking at the ball, but it's dealt with by Hall. Malkahi. on the ball we're going to play it in to Lampard and Lampard again looking for Kamara who is in an offside position to receive that ball this game's lost a little bit of its zest 
here coming into the 58th minute Port Melbourne giving away a free kick there. Port Melbourne are realising the importance of having that 12th man and Arna's hungry for another goal, realising that they do have the advantage in this situation, both on the scoreboard and on the field. We we'll watch some teams, they get weaker with the extra man. And some teams get stronger with the lesser man. Let's see how both teams react. after this match there will be a charity match going on between the girls under 15s squads it is for the Olivia Newton John charity which is great to see in football especially here in Australia Trying to grow women's football and fund a great cause. This Kamara to Lampard. The referee's quarterback, back, even though Lampard was still on goal. Much of the discomfort the Green Gully players. Not enough, there's not enough urgency, not, not as much urgency as I should say, by these Port Melbourne players as we saw at the start of this first half. is quite unlike them. But he's Degadoy. To Ibrahim. He's given the ball away. And it's going to be Brennan. This interesting pass back by Eager. It's been cleared out by Majak. It's got a solid touch on that ball. Here's Bunas. Given the ball away. Here's Clark on the ball. Out to Chesnik. It's been taken down. But here's Chesnik on the ball. Back to Clark. Clark with a... Crossfield ball to Brody Taylor. His Cusis in that corner. Back to Brody Taylor, whipping this ball in. And it's cleared out by Hall. Port Melbourne really tightening the screws here on this Green Gully outfit. This depleted Green Gully outfit without the likes of Matthew Breeze, who was sent off in the 58th minute for a challenge on Majak. It's a good ball in. And Kunaguya at the back post pushes it wide. Opportunity there for Port Melbourne Sharks. And Unable to convert. We've seen by Green Gully that it just takes one opportunity for Alex Salmon. It could be equalised here. He's Kunaguya running at the defence in that number 10 position with a shot. And Kunaguya has put that ball straight into the back of the net. He jumps up and celebrates and punches the air. It's 3-1 here. For Port Melbourne, everyone runs over to celebrate. Kunaguya on that left foot, rifles that ball. Straight past Tyson, who could do nothing.
this Green Gully side does not know what to do. Kono Guya, one of the stars for Port Melbourne this season. As I said earlier, a maestro in midfield. And when you give him a little bit of space, he's able to hit that ball exactly where he wants it with enough power. And here's Alex Salmon turning two players inside out. It's Kamara against Karoma. What a duel it's been. It's Brody Taylor. Halls missed the ball completely. Trying to fend off Taylor, and it's unable to be kept in by Taylor. It's Kamara with a beautiful header, able to just hold off the pressure and give. team a chance to go forward here's Brennan down the other end has given away the goal kick Brennan with an interesting cross it just bounced off Kiyuzis and then back off Brennan there should be a word for that uh, double deflection or Deflectathon, or it, there needs to be a word created for that. I can't keep saying it. going to be a substitution here. It's going to be William uh, Siamis coming on. It's Siamis on the ball. He's Bunas playing it out to looking for Brennan. Timmy Purcell, who was substituted, couldn't quite see who it was from here. And Green Gully looking to play a three at the back. And Kalmas taking it quickly. He's Kamara on the ball. Kamara thought there was a run by Siamis, but. Both of them just not able to be on that same wavelength this early into the substitution. Siamis seems like an exciting young forward. Let's see what he can do here with 22 or so minutes to go with additional time. It's Kunaguya. Beautiful ball, looking for Clark. Nearly split the defence open. Just a bit too much juice on that pass. Here's Kalmar. And Degadoy. It's gone for goal, but it's been pulled back and receives a yellow card. Ford trying to kick that ball into the back of the net. Waited for his David Beckham moment there. <laughs> but it's cost him a yellow card. Which is a cheap one to give away. This referee is not afraid of giving that red card as we've seen. It's Majak. Beautiful leap there. Like a cheater. He 
is Malkahi Degadoy. Majak playing some stern football. Couple of passes in the back line, and it's a clearance. And Chesnick's got an opportunity. Here's Clark, and Brody Taylor's in the middle. Clark looks to go to Brody Taylor, but what an opportunity! That was missed by Port Melbourne. They had the three on two in that chance, but weren't able to convert. It's going to be a substitution here for Port Melbourne. It's going to be number 18, Finn Beakers, coming on for Valentin Chesnik. Finn Beakers, the goal scorer last week. Coming off the bench, the super sub. Let's see if he can have the same influence as he did on that fixture against this. Green Gully side. It's Taylor unable to turn, but Finn Baker is still running for it. Some great pressure here. He's putting in the work, that's for sure. The substitute. Here's Chris Kius, this is one of back. And it's coming here through Ibrahim. Ibrahim's got a chance. Beakers in the middle and Ibrahim unable to get it to Beakers. Another opportunity missed by Port Melbourne Sharks. Let's hope this doesn't come back and bite them. Cross in by Kiusis, goes deflected out and it fizzles all the way to Tyson. It does look like it is going to start raining here. There's a little bit of spitting going on. There's Lampard to Kalmar. Kalmar playing a beautiful 1 2 with Siamis. Is Bunas long ball pierced out wide to Brennan? Brennan with a cross in. It's a good ball, but Eager able to quell the attempted pressure by Port Melbourne. Uh, Pringali should say. He's Ibrahim on the ball. Michael Eager, what a game he's having. He's able to stop this Green Gully attack as well as go down the other end and score a goal. It does seem that as there will be no more sunlight left in this match, the clouds do seem to be covering the sun. Siamis to Kalma. Kalma with that outside of the foot. Sliced the ball but unable to find his target. When it comes to T-Boy, Kamara. Who tricks Marky very intelligently. Here's Bunus. Bunus to Brennan. Brennan's got two to beat. He's able to get a cross in. And Malkihi. With a clearing kick that's gone out for a throw in. He 
57. Kamara. But he's volleyed it straight into the hands of Majak, who rolls it out to Egar. And Paul Melvin's still looking to play it out from the back. Degadoy with that first time beautiful driven pass to Chris Kiusis. To Ibrahim. Malka here with a patch of space. He's B cursed. He's got Kunaguya open in front of him. Who he finds. Kunaguya with a chance to get it in. He's come to Ibrahim. Now it's going to be Clark. Ibrahim again. To Beakers. And Beakers unable to convert. It's gone straight through the legs and taken a deflection from Jordan Hall out for a corner kick. And how many chances will Port Melbourne get? That's three that they haven't been able to convert on after this red card that Green Gully had received. Here's Ibrahim. It's come out. Here's Malkahi. Malkahi! It's been saved by Tyson. Mara looks like he's switched wings and wins his team a, a free kick here. Here's Kalma. Kalma with the ball. Looking for Kamara. Kamara's been held back a little bit. He goes to ground. And Alex Salmon with a deflected shot. His Burnus comes back to Salmon. Salmon out wide to Walker. Walker comes to Brennan. But here's Brody Taylor. He's got a couple options. And Armadou Karoma was wide open in the middle and unable to be found. Here's Clark. He's found Armadou Karoma, but the touch letting Karoma down. He's Walker to Bunis. Looking for Salmon. Malkahi, clear head. Gives it away. Bunas to Walker. Back to Bunas again. Here's a chance. Bunas with a shot. Bunas with the goal. Across the face. And it's 2-3. It was Jonathan Bunas. Playing the 1 2 with Walker. And this Green Gully team is not giving up yet. There's 13 minutes of regular time left. Can they get that equalizing goal? Port Melbourne must be ruining those opportunities that they've had further up the field. This game. As we see, ladies and gentlemen, can turn in an instant. He's Walker. Trying to get past Kunaguya to Kalma. Looking for Kamara, but unable to get so. The home audience probably can't hear, but this Green Gully crowd is getting really excited every time. Green Gully are going forward, especially with a chance now to equalise with a man down. Here's Kalma. Come with a couple options up forward. Here's Kamara. Kamara with a wasted cross. And he clutches his head. Knows how important that cross was for his side. Lampa 
hard with the header. And Kunaguya going for the specky. But he's giving away the free kick and Paul Mel will win it back. He's Kamal Ibrahim. Just doing too much and in a dogfight with Nicholas Kalma who's giving it away as well. It's quite comical, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Bunas. Bambi on ice is the preferred technical term. And Chris Kiusis has drawn the foul. Just giving his team a, a breather. It's going to be a substitute. It's going to be Maker Maker coming on for the number 10, Daniel Clark, who's had a ripper match today. One of the best players on the field. I would presume Maker Maker goes into that defensive midfield position just to provide a little bit more stability in the midfield of Port Melbourne. Here's Kalmar to Siamis. Siamis with a misplaced pass. And he's eager. Trying to find Kunaguya. Up on the stakes here by both teams, giving possession away quite cheaply. Here's Walker. Walker with a kick over the top. Oh, my head is a back to Jared Tyson. Alex Salmon going toe to toe with Michael Eager. Karoma's giving it away and it comes down the other end. Here's Brennan, gets in front of Karoma. But Michael Eager solid at the back, some resolute defending. Here's Kunaguya, he's onside. And unable to control that. It's been kicked out. Is Finn Beaker is just trying to slow that game down. Could be detrimental to Port Melbourne to be slowing this match down. If Green Gully does get an equaliser, it will definitely seem like a missed opportunity to get all three points. It's Kunaguya with the good ball in, but Beaker is unable. He's Kalma. Kamara playing the one two with Bunas. And Siamas again, giving the ball away, His distribution from the young man. Hasn't been up to the level of this game. Here's Kunagoya again with a chance, slips over in the box, tries to play Taylor Brody, Brody Taylor. Here's Bunas. To Brennan. Maker Maker stands strong in the way. He's eager. Oh, 
Who's marking you? And the Kunaguya on the ball. Kunaguya with a shot. But it looks like he was taken out by Kalmar. Referee says nothing doing. Couple of shouts by the players. And then Kunaguya gives away the free kick. Frustrated with the chance before. But it didn't warrant enough for a yellow card. Here's Walker trying to bolster his team into the lead. Beautiful ball in. But there's no one there for Green Gully. It's been cleared out. Here's Tyson. Brody Taylor with the great defensive pressure. As a number nine, just really pushing. And Brody Taylor with a strong challenge with Lampard. And some beautiful work there by Hall. Who goes to ground. Brody Taylor still down on the floor. Looks like it came off the hand. It's a shot! Siamis, what a shot! Magic unable to hold on to that one straight away, but throws it out. And Brody Taylor on the floor. Looks as if he's hurt. Bit of confusion between the players as to whether to throw the ball back or not. Kalma claiming to have earlier in the game not received the ball back, but doing the right thing, giving the ball back for the injured player. Kalma claiming time wasting. Here's Majak with a thumping kick. Would not want to be on the head of that ball. Here's Brody Taylor. Chris Kiusis. And looks like it come off the hand of Nicholas Kalmar, but didn't bring Gully play out from the back pushing forward through Walker but Malkahi clearing that out for a throw in it's tense times here at Green Gully reserve he's Walker and Bunis across the ball in Cleared by Kunaguya. It's only two minutes of regular time left here. Be interesting to see how much extra time there will be. It looks as if there's going to be a substitute. It's going to be Giordano. Marafiotti, the new signing, made his debut last week, coming on for Kamal Ibrahim. The ball's being launched down the other end of the field. Green Gully really want this equaliser. It's Siamis to Kalmar. 
to Bunus. Bunus looking to play in Walker, but it's been cut out. And Taylor Brody finding Kunaguya. Kunaguya looking for Marafiotti. Amadou Karoma on Abel. It's Tyson out to Hall. Walker. And Kiyusis with a strong challenge. Mara back to his goalkeeper. Nicholas Kalmar being very vocal with the referee. And Kamara and Kiusis go straight at it. Tough challenge. She's Kalmar. To Alex Salmon. To Brendan trying to whip this in. He's Kalmar with a shot. It's been deflected. Brody Taylor unable to clear. And Kiusis to launch it down the other end of the field looking for Beekhurst for his bonus make a maker with a big clearance four minutes don't go anywhere ladies and gentlemen approaching the 90th minute and there will be four minutes of extra time here. Anything could happen. Here's Walker playing a beautiful ball to Lampard. But Marafiotti with some great defensive work. And he's Maker Maker with a paddock in front of him. Let's see what he can do. Three versus two. Maker Maker. With Beekhurst on the side, Beekhurst oh. cuts it back. There's another chance it's gone. It comes out to Marafiotti. He's got a chance here. He's got nothing in front of him. Marafiotti, he's gone down in the box. The referee crosses his arms. Nothing doing. How many opportunities will Port Melbourne get? Here's Andy Brennan, kicks it into Degodoy and wins his team a throw in. Here's Walker, crossing it in. It comes to Siamis. Siamis to Seven. Alex Seven! Alex Seven! Alex Seven has equalised here. This is crazy scenes here at Green Guy Reserve. One man down. Alex Seven breaking the hearts of this poor Melbourne team. Football here. Good start. Green Gully with the comeback of the season. 3 1 down and a red card. And Alex Salmon, the master man. I think was what? The Fox in the box, ladies and gentlemen. Port Melbourne cannot believe this is happening. So many opportunities down the other end. And these fans were going absolutely crazy. Is Kamara. There can't be long left. Is Kamara just trying to fend off Maker Maker. Gives it to Hall. Hall with a slick bit of footwork there. Maker Maker to Giordano Marafiotti. And it comes down to Karoma. Karoma! Oh, what a missed opportunity! Brody Taylor 
<laughs> Had a chance to get his team into the lead. This late. This game's had everything, ladies and gentlemen. It's been the tale of the night for Port Melbourne. So many goals, but so many missed opportunities. And that's the final whistle here, Green Gully Reserve. Green Gully, three. Port Melbourne Sharks, three. I've been your host, Adam Ortash. Thank you. See you next time. Good job, Ellen. Thank you. 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 Thank you.